here at the um, on the Lower Trail with Stan Katala from the Juniata Valley Audubon Society and Molly Matson from the Center for Biological Diversity. And um, what are we looking at here, Stan? This is the uh, Heller Caves Biological Diversity Area, which was designated as part of the Blair County Natural Heritage Inventory. Uh, the inventory uh, looks at places or throughout Blair, Blair County to see which places have the highest biological uh, value. And this uh, Heller Caves Biological Diversity Area was designated as one of the most uh, valuable spots regarding biodiversity in our county, uh, specifically because of the importance of the Heller Caves to the uh, small-footed bat, which is a threatened species here in Pennsylvania. The small-footed bat uses the caves as a hibernaculum. They also use the area between the caves and the river uh, as a um, carter for feeding, and they also feed along the river. So it's very important to maintain this wooded corridor between the river and the caves. And what's the threat? The threat to this area right now is a proposed mine which would uh, cut off the caves from the river. And Molly, how did the Center for Biological Diversity get involved in this? Well, the center and, and I specifically have been working to protect bats, um, particularly with regard to white nose syndrome, which is this new disease that has been wiping out bats in the eastern United States for about the last six years. And uh, because of that work, I was contacted by someone in the local area who had found out about the mine project and the threat that it posed to Heller Cave. So uh, once I found out about it, I started looking into it, and uh, eventually that led me to be connected up with Stan and Juniata Audubon. And I also learned in the course of uh, investigating what was going on here that there was another species um, that is endemic. It's found only on this site. It's a small invertebrate uh, called a springtail. It lives in the cave and uh, was discovered in 1997 and uh, probably lives nowhere else in the world except right here. So if this mine uh, went in, it would be completely obliterated from the face of the earth. And um, so that was another reason that we were concerned about this spot. The DEP granted a permit for this mine, so our only recourse at that point was to uh, appeal the permit uh, by suing the Department of Environmental Protection. And we engaged the services of uh, Ken Crystal, who is the director of the uh, Environmental Law Clinic at Widener University. Uh, he is working for the Juniata Valley Audubon Society and the Center for Biological Diversity. Right now we're in the discovery phase of the lawsuit, uh, getting data, conducting depositions, and the lawsuit is expected to go to trial sometime in 2012. Anything else you'd like to say about this site right here, Stan? What? No. Okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> we're standing, I should mention that we're standing in the middle of a Lauer Trail, which is an 18 mile long public trail owned by the owned and operated by the Rails the Trails of Central Pennsylvania, which is a nonprofit organization. And you're a you're a member of that member organization? Of board, yes. And so this is even though this is private land that is right adjacent to it's a immediately adjacent to the uh, proposed quarry site. And the river right over here through the trees, we can't see it, but that's the Frankstown branch of the Little Juniata? Uh, Frankstown branch of the Juniata, yeah. Right, Frankstown branch of the Juniata. And um, what kind of water quality is that? Uh, it's not classified as exceptional value or high quality water, but it, it's a very good trout stream. And there is also a spring on this There's mine site. a stream site. on the property. There's a stream that bisects the proposed mine site, uh, which empties into the Frankstown branch. So should that mine go in, that stream would be affected by thermal pollution from reduced tree cover, uh, particulate pollution from the 40-foot wide gravel road that's proposed to go right along the side of the stream, and also chemical po pollution from the trucks and various fuels, uh, coolants that they u would use on the site for both the trucks and the crushers, um, drilling operations and other machinery that they have. One more question. There's a general perception, um, particularly among people who are more pro-business or conservative orientation, that government environmental agencies exist to put roadblocks in their path. 
um, agencies like the Pennsylvania DEP, Depart Department of, I'm told that stands for Department of Environmental Protection. What's your perspective as a lifelong environmentalist and someone who's, who's uh, lived I've in Pennsylvania? I've been involved with the Juniata Valley Audubon Society for 20 years, and I've seen the DEP has basically just facilitated business development as much as they possibly can. I've never seen any substantial roadblocks. It should be said in this particular case, which I'm gathering is somewhat unusual, that the Pennsylvania Game Commission did recommend uh, this designation of a total avoidance area uh, for this site to protect the Heller Cave and the surrounding area, including this corridor. And, um, and that total avoidance area was completely ignored by its sister agency, the DEP. So. In this case, we have one agency that, to some extent anyways, was standing up for um, the resources under its jurisdiction.